Welcome back. We've won the poker game by losing it a lot of times and just restoring. I will have edited most of that out though, just uh, for time. And it seems that uh, Frank, who we've found out is actually Jesse Baines, is impressed. Frank then asks, Whitey, uh, if I may call you that, I understand you may be looking for work. Yes, I am. Very good. I like your style. How would you like to join me in my suite for a drink, Whitey? Asks Frank. I have a business proposition to discuss with you. That sounds good. Yes. Great. Follow me. Ooh, we got danger music. We're taking the stairs. Just to build up the suspense, I guess. Diagonal keys are very useful here. Apparently I suck at walking the stairs. Okay, wonder where his room is. On the fourth floor, which is apparently the top floor. And I'm gonna save here just in case. Jesse Baines. Because this guy. Oh, apparently I suck at going through the door. This guy is dangerous. Well, Mr. Bankston, says Baines, I have a little proposition for you that I know you'll love. Wow, his room is much nicer than ours. I am interested, you reply. Ooh, somebody's calling him. Just then, the telephone rings in the next room. Figure yourself a drink while I answer the phone, says Baines. You step up to the bar and peruse the selection of beverages. And while he's doing that, as soon as I actually are able to do anything, why can't I do anything? Oh, he's coming back. Ah, uh, I thought I could do it here. Oh well, you'll get to see a bad ending. Baines draws his gun and aims it directly at you. Hold it right there, pig, he shouts. It seems one of our card-playing comrades recognized your ugly mug from a minor misunderstanding he had with the heat a while back. You're about to find out just how much I hate cops. And he shot me. Unfortunately, your failure to transmit your location has resulted in your untimely demise. Thanks for playing Police Quest. Next time, don't make this mistake again. Let's not. You whisper a soft room 404 into your transmitter pen, informing your backup unit of your location. That should do the trick. Well, we already read that. And then the phone rings. I think in the VGA version, you actually enter this room in a different way, and you need to radio back up while you're in the room. That may have thrown me off. In this version, you apparently need to radio back up before you enter the room. Good thing I saved. 
Well, let's see how it plays out this time. Baines draws his gun and aims it directly at you. Hold it right there, pig, he shouts. It seems one of our card-playing comrades recognizes your ugly mug from a minor misunderstanding he had with the Heat a while back. You are about to find out just how much I hate cops. Just then, a knock on the door diverts Baines' attention. You dive to the floor and struggle to remove the derringer from your cane. A loud crash, and the door flies open. Your backups have arrived. Baines is taking down in the barrage of gunfire. In the twinkling of an eye, the shootout is over. Sprawled unconscious on the carpet with a near-fatal belly wound lies Jesse Baines, the Death Angel. That was a close one. Jesse Hiram Baines, the Death Angel, was brought to justice and tried in the Superior Court of the City of Lytton on the following charges. Charge. Illegal gambling. Hotel Del Foria bartender Woody Roberts turned state's evidence and, as a witness for the prosecution, in return for a suspended sentence and three years probation, provided convincing testimony con concerning the gambling activities of Jesse Baines, Otto Lipschitz, and Jean de, Bambi de Bambino Bamboni. Charge. Dr drug trafficking. Drug pusher... Ru sorry... Drug pusher Donald D. Colby turned state's evidence and, as a witness for the prosecution, in return for a suspended sentence and five years probation, provided convincing ten testimony concerning the Baines' narcotic distribution network. Charge attempted murder. Litton PD Detective Bonds, Anglin and Smith presented eyewitness testimony concerning the shootout at the Hotel Del Foria. Charge first degree murder. Ballistic tests provided a positive match between Baines's .32 caliber automatic handgun and the weapon used to murder Jason Tacelli. And now, the results of that trial. The Honorable Judge Kim Palmer asks the foreman of the jury, Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached your verdict? I think I did that voice wrong. Foreman answers, Yes, we have, Your Honor. Bailiff, please bring the jury's verdict to me. And don't hurry or anything. Bailiff, please read the jury's verdict to the court. Charge, illegal gambling, guilty as charged. Charge, drug trafficking, guilty as charged. Charge, attempted murder, guilty as charged. Charge, first degree murder, guilty as charged. Mr. Baines, Please rise for sentencing. Oh, I think this is the judge, actually. Do you have any last sen statement before I pronounce sentencing? Baines looks straight into your eyes. No, Your Honor. Then, under his breath, he hisses across the aisle. Bonds, you're a dead man. Staring intently at Baines, Judge Palmer says firmly, Jesse Hiram Baines, you are hereby sentenced to a total of 97 years in the state penitentiary, without possibility of parole. Um, I'm thinking he won't make that. The courtroom erupts in spontaneous applause. You smile broadly, until you catch Baines glaring holes through your skull. You know your life is not yet free of the Death Angel. And I don't think we're going to make the rest of the ending uh, in this video. So we'll be back for one final video next time.